Hello all, good evening. Uh, in this session, we are going to learn what is a temporal dead zone. At the same time, uh, we are going to understand some important things to learn what is closure. Okay. Tomorrow, we are going to understand in detail about the closure, but today I will provide some platform for that. So let's let's take some confirmation from students. Hi team, are you ready? Sir, ready sir. Okay, let me share my screen. So everyone get ready to answer some simple simple questions. So hopefully, uh, are you able to see my screen? Just give some confirmation. Yes, sir. Okay. So here, I'm just putting, creating some variable a. So a is ten and. Uh, Again, I'm just doing let b is equal to 20. I hope I've given some introduction in the last session about this. Uh, let and constants uh, will store in the memory. So if, if we try to access here, uh, we don't have any problem. Uh, console.log b. Just tell me what will be the output at line number 15 and line number 16. Everyone. What is the output at line number 15? 10. 10. 10 here? 20. 20. Everyone knows that. So now I'm just moving this code to the top. Now tell me. What will be the output at line number 12 and line number 13? Undefined. Undefined and error. Undefined and? Error. Error. Reference error. error. What is that? What is that error? error? Initialization. We cannot access. Okay, we cannot access. Uh, the B. Sorry. Variable B before initialization. Okay, B before initialization. Why? Any reason for that? Left and cost, uh, left and cost in different, different places. Left and cost cannot be hosted. Yeah. No, no, no. Let and constants will be hosted, but they will be in temporal dead zone. Temporal dead zone, temporal dead zone yes. Technically, it is hosted. Yes, because before started execution, it will allocate the memory for A and it will allocate memory for B. But whenever we try to access B, it will throw an error. Okay, let's see that thing in the practical. Okay, let's think, open things in the browser. Okay, here, very, very important things are there. Just right click, inspect, go to the sources. So I did start it going here. Maybe let me put the break. Okay, let me execute here. So observe carefully everyone, this is the most most important thing. So whenever we declare a variable with the var, whenever we declare a variable with the var, it will allocate that in, it will attach that into the window object. So this is the global scope, right? This is the global scope. This is the window object. So global scope means uh, if it is there in the window object, anyone can access at any point of time. There is no doubt in that. But but to avoid some mistakes, to avoid some mistakes, JavaScript team has introduced let and constant. Okay, in that process, they have given some special special characteristics for let and constant. Okay, yes, it is allocated memory for A and B, but the place is different. Okay, the place is different. A is available in the window object, but B is not there in the window object. It is there in separate memory that will be locked until JavaScript has initialized some value. So I will I will show you something here. It paints, maybe it will be more helpful. So if you see, just imagine uh, this is the window object. This is the window object. This is window object so that val variable a is there inside that window object that is the global scope 
but in case of let and constant what it will do it will it will allocate things in a different memory different memory or even if i over i think this put things in the circuit so not in the window not in the window on top of it and it will be locked it will be locked okay, what is the symbol for lock okay, i can draw it so just there will be a lock okay a lock for this the memory right okay, it will be locked so but it will allocate the memory so b value is there in that memory the b value is there in that memory so b value also undefined the a also a also undefined okay but when it will open this lock because it is there in the memory but still we can't access it so observe carefully okay right now the value of b is undefined value of a is also undefined but whenever i try to access console.log a so if you just execute that first line so we are able to see the value that is value of a is undefined we don't have any problem but whenever whenever we try to access a variable which is there in that temporal dead zone which is there in this in this place which is locked it will throw an error that we can't access we can't access that variable let's see what will the what will be the error because the errors also errors information is also very very important for us okay so not defined is different undefined is different and we are not able to access that variable is that is also different error so we should observe carefully so now whenever i try to whenever we try to execute it it will it is throwing an error that is what is that error uncaught reference okay. error Please. cannot access b before initialization it is not saying that b is not defined it is not saying b is not defined b is there b is there i can see where where is that b but i am not able to access it i am not able to access it that is a problem with it's not a problem actually it's, it's a new feature just providing some more security okay so now what is a temporal dead zone means even though it, it will be same for constant also it will be same for constant i'm just putting constant c is equal to 30 constant c is equal to 30 and even if you just try to access a constant before initialization before initialization yes it will also show the same error so just go to the sources at line number 12 we are accessing a and at line number 13 we are trying to access a variable which we have declared with the help of constant so just execute that one so automatically we will get an error oh it's not throwing an error why an error constant c is equal to 30 consider log of c why it is not throwing an error execute it Oh my god okay again it is just coming back to the line number 12 it is finishing i'm not sure what happening yes but it is it will also throw an error um like we can't access c before initialization so but uh, let me try one more time any anyone do you know what's the reason for this that's why i love javascript because it will give lots of twists and turns uh, is there any spelling mistake? Hopefully, no. Consider a lot of C. Okay. Uh, it is not giving an error message, but it is completing the execution process actually. Uh, it is completely jumping out of that. But it will throw an error. Okay. What is that error? We can't. Because if you see, uh, C, uh, B, and C are there in a temporal dead zone. There is a special, special memory and um, b also there and c also there and it will be locked so when we can access those things if if we have any value if we have done initialization then only after that only we can access it that means suppose if you declare a variable at line number 16 at line number 16 when javascript has executed this line and it is allocated this value 
when that value b will be 20 in this situation after that you can access it so now if i just comment these two lines so now we can access it right so carefully so now in a memory allocation phase still uh, memory allocation is completed a value is undefined b value is undefined c value is undefined Okay. So, yes, before that you can access console.log of A that will be give undefined. But in this situation, so what will happen? We have initialized the value 10 to A and at the same time we have initialized B with 20 and uh, we have initialized C with 30. So, now, now after this step, this is got unlocked. This is called unlocked. So, there is a reserve. This is that after that you can you can access b and c in the code after that just continue execution of that code you will get the output as expected so, so that that memory space that memory space or we can say <clears throat> the time being how much time it is there in that temporary uh, in that space that is called we can call it as a temporary data. So normally it's a place in the call stack or in the memory we are storing let and constant in that place and uh, it will be available to access only after initialization before that we can't access it so that space or that scope or that time being is called a temporal dead zone so now everyone understood or not understood or not Only one person understood. Two, three. Just tell me if you didn't understand, tell me. I will explain one more time. I'll explain one more time. Everyone should say yes or no. Umbrakash understood or not? Sai Kumar, Pankaj, Pawan, Pawan, Ragu, Sai Chiran, Shobarani, Sujan, and Shweta. Yeah, someone is asking to repeat one more time. Okay, repeat once again. Okay, very good, very good. So now, uh, Sweta, tell me what is your question? Okay. First, I will, I will, I will explain one by one so that it will be easy for you. So I'm just writing where a is equal to ten. The Sweta and uh, who didn't understand, just interact with me so that. It will be more easy for okay. Pawan give it you also saying once again. Om Prakash saying, Sweta saying. So Pankaj is also saying. Okay, just just try to just try to interact with me so that you can understand it. So now tell me if I do if I do console dot log, what will happen? What is the output for this program? Tell me. Like ten. Ten. Everyone, Sweta, what is the answer for Thank this? Thank Pankaj. 10 to 10. Okay. Now? Undefined. Undefined. Sure, Sweta and everyone who didn't understand, tell me clearly you, what is the output for this this line, at line, at this line? It is? Undefined. Why it is undefined? It is undefined. So, what will happen? So, let me, let me draw the whole diagram so that you will understand this. So in the call stack, right? What will happen? It will create in the call stack. It will create first global Seven. execution context. Very good, global execution context. What is there in, inside the global execution context? Memory window object. Window object. Window object. Okay. Then, so it will start memory allocation phase, right? Mem yes, sir. Memory yes. allocation. allocation. Phase. Okay, what will happen in the memory allocation for phase for this program? Creation phase. Memory. Declaration for A has done. Yeah, it will allocate memory and uh, what is the value of A? Undefined. 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 So memory allocation is completed, right? So now it will go for execution second phase. phase. Second phase. Execution phase. What is the name of second phase? Execution phase. Execution. Actually, execution will start. So, in the execution phase, 
here we are going to execute this is the first line right after these empty lines is the first line so now whenever you try to console.log of a what will happen in the output it will give undefined right yes sir yes or no yes sir okay very good so why because it is there in the window object and you don't have any restriction to access a variable a that's why we got undefined నచ్చిందనుకోకొచ్చాక నేను చెప్తాను నేనే చెప్పానని చెప్తాను వెళ్ళి ఇంకా టెన్ మినిట్స్ ఓకే వాట్ వీఆర్ టాకింగ్ ఓకే వాట్ ఈస్ ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ వాట్ విల్ హ్యాపన్ ఇన్ ద సెకండ్ ఫేజ్ ఇట్ విల్ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ ఫస్ట్ దిస్ లైన్ రైట్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ ద అవుట్పుట్ ఫర్ దిస్ వన్ అండిఫైన్ దెన్ it is it is going to execute this one what will happen once we execute line number 14 it will initialize to 10 it will initialize to 10 okay very good so so but but when we declare same variable with a let okay what will happen let's let's draw it again this is call stack what will happen first it will create tell me a global execution phase global execution context in that what we have window window object now it will go for memory allocation creation phase or memory allocation phase that is memory allocation phase okay now what will happen in this code now first console.log of a we, we are not going to take any kind of action in the memory allocation phase because we are going to check the declaration so it will it will see javascript what javascript will do now oh my god it is not where it is let it is let so previously whenever we have declared a variable with a a what happened it was attached to window object right yes yes or no but yes. here here it is not going to attach to window object it is not going to attach to window object so it will create another object it will it will allocate memory in a separate it will create a separate object just imagine it's a separate object it's not a window it's not a window just just imagine that it's a locker it's a locker so here it will allocate a and what will what what is the value of that undefined and just everyone tell me what is the value undefined. of that undefined undefined undefined, undefined. undefined. but undefined. but this is the locker this locker is locked okay this star symbol means the locker is locked okay so fine fine so now so we have only two lines first line we are not going to take any action on that and second line it is allocate a memory in a special object special object that special object have a locker and locker has a lock that is locked okay that is locked so when it is going to open that we can discuss so now what we are doing 
in the execution phase right now we came to we came to which phase execution phase execution phase what will happen in the execution phase which line is going to execute first Anyway, which line is going to execute first? Thirteen. Line number thirteen. Thirteen line. Console dot log off. So console dot log off. Console log dot. So here, whenever we are executing console dot log off a, console dot log off a, that means you are saying to JavaScript engine, hey JavaScript engine, can you just please tell me what will what is the value of a? What is the value of a? So JavaScript engine will go to find that variable in this memory so it, it javascript engine knows that this is there inside this locker but the locker was locked locked okay, this is locked locked it is not unlocked not. right so far this is not unlocked so we can't do anything so now what is saying what javascript engine is saying okay okay sweta i just tried to access that variable but that is locked because that is there in the locker Okay, I don't I don't have a key to open that locker. So that what it is saying? What you will say? Suppose someone said that just bring some water. No problem, you can get water from the window object. But this is gold or this is diamond. Someone just stored that in a locker and you don't have a key. What you will say? What do you what you will say, Sakshita? No, actually, I don't have key with me, so I That's can't bring. Yeah, I can't do anything, right? So same thing, JavaScript engine also saying. What? What it is saying? We cannot access. We cannot access. 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 Yeah. Before initialization. Initialization. Okay. Initialization. That means so far the locker is not open. Okay, whether it is initialized or it doesn't matter for JavaScript engine. Okay, so now what will happen? We got the error that we cannot access A before initialization. So when it is going to allocate the memory, when it is going to initialize, if you go to the next line, right? Number 14. Oh. Yes, sir. But if you get error, if you get an error, just JavaScript engine and the browser is going to execute next line or not? No, sir, it's too no, 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 It's not going to execute, right? It will stop. No. Yeah, very good. It will stop execution. Execution. That means there is a bug in the code, right? So we should fix that. So because of this this reason, because of this reason, when it is and when it will allocate the memory, suppose if I just comment the code, if I comment the code, what will happen? If I do this one, console.log of A here. A here. What will happen? The lock is unlocked. Yes. Let A is equal to 10. First line, what is what is what we are doing? Let in the initialization uh, execution process, let A is equal to 10. A first, 10. we are going to execute the first line. So we are initializing the value. So it will initialize the value in the windows of that. Yeah. Whenever okay, initialization means you are giving a key. You are giving a key indirectly. Okay. So it will open that locker. Okay. And store the locker. What it will do? It will give. It will on this one. Files. Yeah. Then, then ten. if you execute console.log a, what will happen? Then output will be 10. Output will be 10. It can enter into that, right? Because it is open. The lock is open. So then it will give a value as 10. So this is this this space or this scope that is not part of window object, right? In a separate memory. This is called what it is? Temporary zone. Temporal zone. Means the variable if you declare it with a letter constant that is not going to attach to window object. It is going to store in a special memory that will be locked until you initialize the value, until this execution initialization part is done. By the time it will be 
temple. No. Okay. Just tell me why JavaScript team has introduced this one. Just think in a common sense. Why we need to put a variable into temporal dead job? So the memory. Memory. Tell me. Free. Sorry, sorry. Memory. Ah, memory understand. consumption. No. Even if you so store in a window object. It even fail to uh, declare uh, a variable. It will throw an error. Okay. What is the reason behind int introducing this concept? Okay, previously we had discussed, right? What we had discussed? We should not use where. Not use where, right? You should not use yeah. where. If you use where, what is happening? What is happening? It is hosting. It is hosting. Because of that, you are able to access that variable, right? Right? Suppose, is there any meaning for that? Is there any meaning for that? Because if you have declared a variable and if you didn't provide any value for that, before that, if you try to access it and it is not throwing any error, is this required for us in a real time programming? No. No. It's required. Because if you access it, it will throw undefined. What is the use of undefined? What I can do with undefined? Nothing so, undefined. Yeah. We should, we should not because, because how many days JavaScript has introduced? 10 days. 10 days. 10 days only. So within 10 days, he, he come up with a very, very powerful programming language. But he didn't, he didn't bother about all the things because, because already Java was there. Java is very, very powerful. Java is not introduced in 10 days. C language is not introduced in 10 days. C sharp or any other programming language is not introduced in 10 days because JavaScript has introduced in 10 days. Of course, it's beautiful and lots of powers are there, but he didn't get a chance to fix all the things like because C -sharp, One day. Yeah, C sharp is powerful, powerful and uh, means syntax as I'm saying like uh, avoiding error, avoiding mistakes in that sense, JavaScript is uh, easy to fall into the errors so that to avoid this mistake because there is no there is no reason right there is no use to access a variable before initialization that's why we should avoid these kind of mistakes because if i say if i say that uh, students if you do practice you will get a job people don't do practice if i say that if i don't do practice if you if you can't get a pass marks in the mock interview you can't get a chance in a next level then what you will do what you will do? At the time you will do practice or at the time also you are not interested to do practice? Simple adult na intente. JavaScript ila ante mere practice cheish na cheye ka poy na. Ame mal aim ando class attend ay na awa ka poy na aim all. Apre aim othundi? Aim othundi? Practice share. Practice share both the subject yeah. work, subject work both the job role. Job role. And any problems are. Kabat any hal kunta street ka onda le. Street ka onde either mere proper ka nets kunda ro le thante par ko thare. Yedo ko jari kindi. Rondo manchi the. Par ko ram manchi the. Practice share ram manchi the. So which one you will choose? Practice. Practice jaise na par ko thara. Practice share. Practice. So here also in JavaScript also, initially JavaScript is really, really, uh, JavaScript is not going to throw errors um, most of the times. So it, it is really, really tough because 1995 from, from 1995, from 1995 to uh, 2000, okay, 2009, till that time we are not using JavaScript like how we are using JavaScript in 2023. So, because at the time we, we didn't focus on uh, all these errors. Okay, no problem. If you have any errors, I, I don't want to invest too much money or something 
to fix those problems. But gradually from 2009, 2009, Node.js introduced and uh, 2010, AngularJS is there, everyone now react, okay, hundreds of hundreds of um, libraries, thousands of libraries are there, hundreds of uh, frameworks are there on top of JavaScript and everyone using JavaScript in the world. If you just open any website in the internet, definitely uh, they are using JavaScript. 99% of the people are using JavaScript. Only 1% not using JavaScript because they don't know JavaScript. That's it. So the usage has improved. So we have a lot of problems with JavaScript. The var, um, var is just giving lots of lots of headaches for us. So that so that they have introduced. Tell me what they have introduced. Let and constant. Let and constant to solve some problem. Still we have problems. Even after introduction of let and constant, also we have problem. Okay, to solve those problems, another Microsoft has introduced another programming language. What 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 is that? What is that? TypeScript. TypeScript. Okay, TypeScript actually TypeScript is not another programming language. It is just superset of JavaScript. So if you want to understand what is a TypeScript. So just go and search the YouTube. You will get hundreds of uh, videos. Even uh, in our YouTube channel, uh, I just prepare around at least five to ten uh, videos on that. In twenty twenty one. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Ask me. Ask me one more time. What's your question? Hello all, good morning. Okay. We, this is TypeScript. Okay, you can go and watch these 10 videos. At least you will get an overview. Okay, I didn't get a chance to finish the playlist. So you will get, you will understand what is TypeScript. Okay. Now understand what is temporal red zone or not. Pavan Giviti and Om Prakash and Sveta and Pankaj understood or not and even everyone. Okay, now tell me Pankaj, what is temporal dead zone? Explain to me. So temporal dead zone is nothing when a variable is locked in some memory mm -hmm. before in initialization. Okay, what are the so variables it, it will be locked? So let and const, these are the two variables which uh, uh, which comes in uh, in temperated zone. It will locked in the in some memory, and uh, it will not it will give error uh, that we cannot access uh, before in initialization. It will not uh, present in the Windows object. Good, good. Yeah. So that, what we need to do? What is the moral of the story? The so moral of the story, uh, like like what moral of the story, sir? We should uh, we cannot use let and const before in initialization, and we cannot use bear. We should use more uh, more most of the time let and const. Yeah, very good. We should not use var in real time programming yes. because why we, we are explaining uh, why I am explaining var means in interview they will ask patients. In interviews, they will ask patients. Okay? Yeah. They will ask what is temporal dead zone. At the time, if you say, uh, my uh, trainer Raghu said, don't <laughs> use VAR, that's why I don't ask, I don't answer anything related to the VAR. But definitely, he's not going to interest it to give a job. That's why I'm explaining all the things. Okay? Yeah. So you have told us everything about VAR, let and cost. <laughs> Very good. So, what, what we need to do? We should use let and cost. Let and cost. And actually, the moral of the story is, we should not access programming. So that's what we need to do. If you have any declarations, either it will be a variable or a function or class, class or anything. If, anything. It, if it is falls under the declaration, we should we should move all the declaration to the top of the code. Top of the code, yes. Then only you can try. Suppose 
you are writing you have you have done like uh, 500 lines of code okay 500 lines of code so suppose for example here at line number 163 you want to create a new variable okay you want to create a new variable so here we have some code okay in between someone has written some code okay here suppose you want a variable suppose uh, let uh, x is equal to 120 suppose something but what you need to do you should not declare here you should not declare here what you need to do even though you have 162 lines of code you should just scroll up scroll up and you should declare here and you can go and access at line number 122 or 122 or whatever any anywhere after the initialization very good Okay, now understood everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. And here there are different kind of errors. There are different kind of errors. So we have seen uh, mm -hmm. one error. Okay, let's see. Like now tell me, I will ask few things. Just tell me what will be the error. Okay, just observe. Okay, let me remove. So, so if I do console.log a just tell me what will what will be the output for this program? Uncaught reference error is not defined. Uncaught reference error is not defined. Is not defined. Is not point that is which type uncaught reference error right yes so now what i'm doing constant c now tell me syntax error, syntax error. Syntax error? Yes. I, I hope you have completed uh, video in yes. namaste yes. right yes, sir. <laughs> that's that's good that's good you should please please watch what is the error? Syntax error. Why it is syntax error? What's the wrong in the syntax? Constant value should be the value. value. Ah, tell me, tell me. Constant value should be? Constant value. with value. You should? Declare and initialize at a time. Very good, very good. Fantastic. Oh. So if you don't do like this, it will throw? Error. What are the other errors are there which actually explain this is missing initializer in constant declaration okay whenever you are declaring the constant you are missing the initialization that is uncaught syntax error uncaught syntax error fantastic now I've just defined 10 and now if I try to access the C before the line of initialization, what will happen? We will get which error? Cannot, cannot access. Cannot access C before initialization. Before initialization. What, what, what is the type of that error? Which type? Uncaught syntax error or something Reference else? Reference error. Reference error. Reference error. What is that? Uncaught reference error. Cannot access C before initialization. So that you should remember these error types also. I'm saying, I'm saying, okay, Namaste JavaScript is there now. Namaste JavaScript by actually saying. So he just provided these 23 videos for free of cost, actually. Free of cost. But I'm saying, I'm saying. A minimum for so you want to be a 20, software engineer at Google. For these 23 videos, he can charge 20,000 rupees. How much? How much? 20,000. Minimum, I'm saying. Because I, I, I was learned, I, I'm learning JavaScript from last 5 to 10 years. Okay. I didn't understand what is posting. I didn't understand what is closures actually. 
we are working with JavaScript, but really I didn't understand that topic. Okay, once I, I started watching this Namaste JavaScript playlist, really understand what is JavaScript, what is happening inside a JavaScript. So he's the first person, I think, maybe someone has explained, but that didn't reach to all the people, but he has explained and the, the information has reached to many, many people. Definitely, definitely. I'm always mm. thankful to Akshay actually. So I'm saying, so you no need to wait for me. You no need to wait for me. Just go and watch those videos. Okay. If you, if you, if you're not able to understand, if you're not able to digest, uh, then anyway, I have, you have another explanation from SVGI. Okay. That's all. Okay. Any questions from Temporal Dead Zone? Understood or not? One more time. Everyone. Because still sometime I will get doubt. Because some, some people will say always understood. understood. Because uh, they don't want to ask any questions. So please don't do those kind of mistakes. Okay, hopefully you understand. Now uh, I will explain some interesting thing uh, in, next five, in next five minutes. So do you have time for that? Because we are going to learn like most important and most interesting and most complicated, most toughest topic in JavaScript. So for that, I need to provide some platform. So do you have time for five minutes or not? Definitely, yeah. sir. Definitely, sir. Definitely. Yeah, Pankaj is always ready. Pankaj is always ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm very much interested, sir. <laughs> yeah. So now, now try to answer. Just, just enjoy learning. Okay, but problem is uh, if you start learning after completing graduation you will face a lot of problems okay fine so here here i'm just creating a function function name is triple a so your screen is not oh sorry 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 stop sharing Okay. Are you able to see my screen now? Yes. Everyone? Uh, everyone should answer. Everyone should answer. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm just putting a variable x value is 10. Console.log of x. And here I'm just invoking triple A. Can you now tell me what will be the output for this program? 10, sir. 10, everyone? 10. If, if anyone have any different answer, just tell me. Clear? It will print 10, right? I hope everyone knows this. It will print 10. So if I if I do, if I do this, outside what will happen? X is not defined. X is not defined. Why? Local scope. Not, the not, not. Of the yeah. Because whenever we execute triple A, it will create execution context, right? And it will allocate the memory for that. Once we complete execution of this one, what will happen? It will be gone from the mem memory, right? It will pop out from the execution con like call stack, right? That's why we can't access it. Access it. And, and even it is in the local scope, we can't access local scope. Very good, very good. I hope everyone is good. So what I'm doing here, return x, return x. So here what I'm doing here, I'm just creating another variable where um, zoom, zoom, okay, zoom. Okay. So now, okay, what will be the value of, what will be the output for this program? Ten, sir. I think ten, sir. Ten. Ten. Uh, don't say I think. Just tell me surely. Ten, sir. Ten, ten, sir. Ten, sir. Uh, I, I'm surely ten, sir. Surely ten. Okay, very good. Let's see if you have any. Let's check it. Okay, ten. Okay, everyone is giving right answers. So now what I'm doing? So we can return. Okay, right, right now I just initialize ten. So now if I do 
uh, 20 comma 30 comma 40. Okay, what will be the output for this program? It will print array, sir. Sure. Mm, I'm sure, I think. 40 maybe, sir. Ah, tell me. Okay, so the different questions, answers of Snija Bani. Okay, tell me, Pangal, what is your answer? It will print array, I guess. It will print array. Okay. Sweta, tell me, what is your answer? Sir, 40. Oh, it will print 40. Okay, very good. Anyone else have any other answers? Chapani? No, yes. sir. Maybe array only. Maybe array only. Okay. Remaining people, <laughs> just tell me what is your answer? Array, sir. Array. Array. Okay. Everyone, most of the people are saying array, and some people have a doubt whether it will print 40 or something else. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What is that? We are getting array, right? So whatever is there inside the X, we are returning. So whether it is a number, whether it is a string, whether it is an array, whether it is a, whether it is a object. Painting. So what will be the output for this one? It will return, it will print. So, because we know that we know that it is going to uh, whenever we invoke the triple A, it will allocate the memory for var A, and uh, because we are returning, because maybe after after completion of execution of this triple A, that will be gone right from the memory. It will be gone from the execution uh, in the call stack. That execution context will be popped out in that call stack. So that we have written for safe side, and that value will be there in here. So now tell me, now tell me, so if I, if I do, if I do a function, function, hello, function, hello, if I do function, hello, so here I'm just doing a simple message in that console.log, hello, okay, now tell me what will be the output at line number 18? So we have to call that function. Function hello. Okay. What what is there in, inside the variable called zoom? Yeah. What will, what what it will print? Whether it will print uh, hello or whether it will give a function. Uh, it function. will function. 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 Right. Everyone. Or do you have uh, any question that uh, how this function will return another function? Do you have any question like that? Normally, if you have, if you are learning any other programming language, definitely there will be a doubt. But in JavaScript, yes, it will return. It will return. So, what will be there in Zoom? Function hello. Function, Function hello. hello. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, very good. Everyone is giving a right answer. Fantastic. So now I'm going to ask one more question. So can I can I execute this Zoom like that or not? Yes or no? No. No, sir, no. 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 Okay. It's not a function. Zoom is not a function? We can, we can, sir. We can. What is this? No, Zoom became function. No, sir. Zoom became function, sir. We can, we can call, call Zoom like that. Sure. Mm. Yes, sir. Some people have a doubt, right? So I, I will I will clarify. Suppose var CCC function is there console dot log Okay. What is what is there inside the CCC? Function. function right so is it possible to invoke this function like this or not yes yes yes, yes. so even you can give any name for that or triplex okay so you can because 
you have you are storing a function as a variable like as a variable for the variable name is ccc so that then you can invoke this function with ccc yes that is that is proper thing so here also what you are doing what you are doing you are calling storing the function. this function into this variable so that you can invoke it so still anyone have any doubt no sir okay we just invoked it right so console.log of zoom is there the function definition if you invoke the zoom because that is a function that's why you can invoke that function so that what is the output for this one hello hello so far everyone is clear yes sir so now we are entering into the actual thing okay so if if anyone have any question just tell me now itself because we are entering into the danger zone or temporal dead zone kind of thing <laughs> ready Okay. So make make it simple. What I'm doing? Make it simple. What I'm doing? Yeah, tell me, sir. Sir, if we have another function with name Zoom, sir. If we have another function with name Zoom, means here you have declare uh, you have taken function triple, right? Ah, uh, in the same way we have another function function Zoom. Okay. So if we try to invoke. the uh, zoom here which will be called then very good that's a good question dot log i am the original zoom i'm like saying what will happen just tell me that's really really interesting good question yeah tell me what will happen It will print both. It will you print only first one. Uh, okay, tell me. Um, someone is saying it will print. Okay, whatever there, whatever happening in the memory, whatever happening in the execution doesn't matter for me. What will be the end result? It will print both. Both. I am the original. Okay, original zoom like. Common clan is uh, coming with when oh, another movie, right? Original gangster, okay, like that. Original, original zoo, and it will print. Hello, also, right? Sure. I think only one. Okay, which one? If it is only one, which one? First one. I'm the original zoom. Good. So let's see what will be the output. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Second one. Both. What both? No both. Second <laughs> <Both. laughs> one. Oh, so yeah. it 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 is like variable. Yeah. It is changed. Okay, I'm just okay. I'm just commenting this. What it is printing? how it will how it will uh, print both things it's not possible right so what is happen now what is happen now first in the window object there will be key value pair right so there will be a key like zoom and what is the value for that the function definition right or not yes sir so whenever it is allocating the memory for var zoom what will happen Want to understand in a simple way? Let 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 me do one more. Where a is equal to twenty and where a is equal to forty, what will happen? Latest value. Whether it will create two a's inside the window object? No. No, it will reinitialize. No. What it will do? It will reinitialize. Like so just refresh. So there will be only one A. So if you see, so if you execute at line number twelve, the value of A is twenty. Once you execute here, what will happen? It will replace, right? Okay. In the same way, 
we can go with the functions that that's that is the biggest problem in javascript okay function zoom right here i have same function with zoom again so in the first one what i'm doing console.log first zoom okay and here console.log second so if you invoke zoom uh, and after the all the variable function declarations what will happen Let's see. Okay, before that, we can put in there. This one, I will just put uh, this is it. Console.log. Right, start right here. We are doing a uh, execution by the time it will. Complete uh, memory allocation phase, right? What is there in the memory? Just open. Just go to the zoom. Is there zoom zoom last right? X Y Z. Let me do one thing. Always better to start with a. Uh, this is we can easily find out the things in here. So refresh. What is there? Because already memory allocation completed for this A and this triple A. So just tell me what will be there in this triple A? Whether it will be a first zoom or second zoom. Second zoom. Second zoom. Second zoom. Second zoom. Second zoom. So if just execute it, you find out the answer. What is that? What is that? Second zoom, right? Zoom. The latest one. So if you if you do those kind of things, it will take the latest one. Okay, fine. Understood or understood or not, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, very good. So now we should come back to the question. Uh, maybe some of you already forgot what is the previous question, right? So this is not there, right? What discussion? Okay. So what what will be the output for this one? Will be hello. Hello. Yeah, we can we can invoke that. Hello. Okay. hello. So now what I'm doing, I'm so carefully, I'm so carefully. This is very very important. Okay. For, for making make, making it simple, what I will do. Okay, we can do like this in a single line, okay, in return directly. Like this, okay. Both are same. This is like a short Sometimes still you can get the same thing. Okay. So the output, it's a hello, right? So directly you can return. So you can return A, you can return 10, you can return something, right? Okay. So now observe carefully, observe carefully. Here, in this, inside the hello, inside the hello, I'm just declaring a variable a is equal to triple a. Okay. And here, if I try to access a inside that function. Okay, now tell me what will be the output for this program. One, one, one. Sure, everyone. Yes, sir. Triple one. Yes, sir. Triple one. 
It will give the same result. Why? Observe carefully. Here, one condition is there. You are returning. You are returning function to zoom right outside. After returning, what will happen? After returning, what will happen? Once you return this function, it nothing will, will happen. Yeah, it will remove everything. Execution context of triple A, right? Yes. Where is A? A is part of triple A or hello? Triple A. Triple A. That means whenever you, whenever you remove execution context for triple A, whether it will remove A or not? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yes. Now tell me what will be the answer. A is not defined. A is, is not. A is not, not defined. defined. Sure, everyone. Is, yes, sir. A is not defined. What What is the reason behind that? So because uh, after it and context will be removed after the returning the function. Triple A, we are not able to find A anywhere. So yeah. So here, suppose. If we if once we invoke triple A, it will allocate the memory for A, right? What will be the value? Triple one, right? And the function is there. Hello, right? And it has a some function definition. But what we are doing? We are returning this function definition to a variable called zoom, right? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Right. Fine, because we are just storing inside the global variable. After that, what is happening? It is going to re it is going to pop out, right? So now, now, yes, we got the function definition. We got the function definition. But whenever we try to access that, again, it will create a execution context, right? So at the time, it will try to access a. By the time this execution context is not, not there, huh? triple A. That's why your answer is correct. What will be the output? A is not defined. Okay. Not defined. Okay. How many of you are going with this answer? Just ping me in the chat. Everyone, right? Everyone. Naturally, yes, we can say that A is not defined because it is going to execute the execution context. After that, where we can find that value A if you try to access. But, but JavaScript is different. Okay, JavaScript is not that much easy. So what will be the output for this program? Still, it is triple one. I said it before. Sir. You said it, but you should have a reason, now. Reason. Yeah. So what what do we understand so far? Once the execution context will gone, it, it will remove everything, right? Okay. But how it is giving? Because yes, it is returning only function. We are not returning A, right? We are returning just a function. We are not returning A. It how like this it retain the value of A because it is uh, uh like what what can we say? It is uh, Tell me. closer. Closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is closer. It retains the value of the external uh, external function. I think. Yes. Okay. Because because there is another super super important concept that is called closures. So because of this, it is possible for us to access that variable even though the execution context is gone from the memory. The simple thing is whenever we have a function 
so it will form a closure with this lexical scope lexical scope so the simple thing is for example for example like first nine months we will be there in our mother um, stomach right so even though you come out of come out from mother so if we when we are there in mother's stomach yeah we have resources we can take all the food from mother but once you come out of that what will happen god is there now god will take care of everything okay no problem okay the environment inside the mother and environment in the world is different right but still you will get everything outside also so the god is great right so in the same way in the same way who has designed this javascript Nick. Brendan Nick. Yeah, normally people may forgot about him, but this is really, really super awesome thing. So if you see, if I just put a debugger there, what is there? So closure. So closure means function with its lexical scope forms a closure. So wherever you go. You it can access your lexical scope things indirectly with the help of what? With the help of closures. Close. Okay, this is just a platform. Okay, don't worry. Tomorrow we are going to discuss in detail about this. I I hope we have covered almost everything. But tomorrow we can discuss in detail. So simply I am saying, if you just simply watch the video, just attend the session. You are not going to learn JavaScript. I am saying you are not going to learn JavaScript unless until you practice. You just write the code, open that in a browser, the debugger, and just execute line by line and just check what is happening in the memory. Then only you will understand the concept. And if you do that revision every week, you will remember for a long time. Otherwise, you are going to join what? You are going to join again JavaScript batch in 2024. Okay, how many of you are not going to join JavaScript training in 2024? Yeah, if you do practice, if you do revision like that, it will possible. Okay, I will tell you one one uh, one simple thing. So today I just created one short on uh, temporal dead job. Yeah, hopefully you have seen in uh, WhatsApp chat, right? You can introduce yourself. So, so okay, this is a temporal dead zone. I've explained in one minute. What is temporal dead zone in JavaScript? So here we have declared a variable a with var b with the let. So whenever we try to access before initializing, for a we will get a result as undefined. For b it will. Okay, why I'm saying now? So. Uh, you you can find information in one minute. You can find information in ten minutes. You can find information in twenty minutes. But end of the day, uh, unless until you are not able to digest, you are not able to understand that concept. So please do practice. Okay, I'm just creating these all shorts because uh, while you are attending interviews, it will be more useful for you. So before going it for interview, if you have done a practice now. Uh, if you watch this in a minute, you will re you will recollect all the concepts. So that's why I'm just trying to create the short version. Hopefully, uh, you do practice. Okay, thank you, and see you tomorrow again, and get ready for interviews on Friday as well. Mm. And please, please start learning databases, HTML, CSS, all the things. Okay, that is not my responsibility. So after six months, if you don't get a job, you don't need to say that hey, Raghu didn't explain all these things. Raghu is the responsible for my failure. Uh, even you can say that, but I can't help in that situation. Okay, thank you, and see you tomorrow again. Okay? Bye bye.